Good morning guys, it's Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm just headed to work this morning and thought I would do a little video answering some questions. There's like a tag thing going around and there's questions that there's actually different questions that I've heard on a few different videos. So I kind of like put my own question list together uh, based on something I found online and the questions that I've heard other YouTubers answer. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first question is, where are you from? Well, um, my dad was in the Marines and he was stationed in California when he met my mom. So I was born in Anaheim, California in 1973. And uh, my dad being from Maryland, we've moved back and forth my whole life. And then when I was 19 is when I moved from California up here to Washington State. And I've been here ever since. So that's about all there is for that. <laughs> and then uh, the next question is, why did I start a YouTube channel? Well, I actually started a YouTube channel like a long time ago to make, I made like little videos of when I would travel and stuff like that. And I wanted a place to save it because on my phone there wasn't enough storage. I didn't know how to put it on a computer. So the easiest way for me to do it was when I made the video on my phone is uploaded to the YouTube channel. And then I kind of like stopped uploading videos there a lot and then uh, I made a memorial video for my sister and the easiest way for me to share it with everybody was to upload it to YouTube so I started another YouTube channel and then a friend of mine asked me to do a memorial video for her husband and so I did that and it just kind of got me like, I really like making videos and I started watching some makeup tutorial videos and that kind of looked like fun. And then I was watching unboxing videos and that kind of looked fun. So it kind of just snowballed, I guess. It wasn't like a plan or anything. It just looked like fun and I thought I would give it a try. So here you go. Let's see, more relationship status. I am divorced. Uh, August was a year being divorced. Next month will be two years since uh, we separated. And I have, we have one son who's 15 years old. He'll be 16 next month. It's crazy to think that I have a kid that can drive. And he's a good kid. He struggles a little bit, but he's a good kid. He's got a good heart. Uh, my hobbies. I love karaoke, I like bowling, I like doing photography, doing these YouTube videos. And then one of the questions was like, when do you film? And I like film whenever I can, cause I have a full-time job. So I just kind of fit it in on my weekends or like right now I'm on my way to work and I'm just cruising. So I thought I'd make the video. Uh, do I like makeup or clothes? I probably would say makeup because I don't really, I don't know. I, I would probably go with makeup on that one. I don't know why I just have more fun with makeup than I do with clothes, I guess. Not that I don't like clothes, I do. I'm just not like into like mainstream fashion, I guess you could say. Like, I mean, I do most of my shopping at either Walmart or Target or friends will give me some clothes that they don't wear anymore and I usually get some really cute stuff but I think I'm more into the makeup than I am the fashion. Past jobs. Let's see. I babysat. I stuffed envelopes. I cleaned house. Um, I worked at Round Table Pizza, McDonald's. I worked at the dollar store. I worked at Panasonic. I worked for a travel agency for a while. I worked in a bingo hall, uh, now I work in a casino, and have been for 17 years, so I've done a few things. 
favorite place to travel, I would have to say I really liked Hawaii. It was really beautiful and kicked back and peaceful. Um, when I went on a cruise to Mexico, Mexico was pretty cool too. But I have to say I'd really like to go back to Maui for sure because I really enjoyed my time there. Let's see, favorite show or movie? I actually have a lot. <laughs> it's hard to just name one. I like Criminal Minds, Law and Order SVU. I've been watching The Masked Singer, The Voice, Survivor. I like Amazing Race. I was really into Big Bang Theory, Friends, shows like that. Movies. There was a movie I watched on the plane on the back on the way back from Maryland this summer called Five Feet Apart, and I have to say that it's a really great movie and it made me cry and it was hilarious that my son was sitting right next to me just kind of staring at me as I'm bawling so hard and I could see him out of the corner of my eye just staring at me watching me cry and then later on he was like why were you crying and I was like because it was a really good movie and it was really emotional so I really Five Feet Apart is a great movie. But I also like stuff like Ghost, Steel Magnolias, Breakfast Club, um, Titanic. I could, I can't even like think of all of them, but there's like so many. But that is basically it for that. Um, favorite place to take out of town guests. Well, my cousin came up to visit one time and we went down to Oregon, the Oregon coast, because she wanted to see where the Goonies was filmed. And so we went to Cannon Beach and I like Seaside. Uh, and it's not really that far of a drive, you know, two, three hours to get there. But like more locally, uh, the Seattle Center, Pike Place Market, down on the water by the wheel. And uh, they have this really cool ride up there. Uh, it's like soaring over California, but it's wings over Washington, but the basic same idea. Um, so I like to go up to Seattle and like go to the Fremont Street Troll. A lot of people like to go there just because of the movie 10 Things I Hate About You. So um, there's lots of things that I like to do up around here with out of town guests when they come to visit Snoqualmie Falls. That's another place that we've gone. Am I scared of heights? Yes, I'm terrified of heights in certain aspects. Uh, like, I've gone up to the top of the Space Needle, and I don't mind that. It's just standing at the edge, looking out the glass, looking down. That kind of freaks me out. And then, when I went to Vegas one time, we went out to the Grand Canyon and went on the Skywalk. And the first time that I went on the Skywalk, I was terrified. Like, I wanted to do it so bad. I had seen it on TV and everything, and I was like, I really want to go do that. And then when we got there, I, like, freaked out a little bit, and I actually started crying. Um, but the lady that worked there was really sweet, and she helped me out. And she got me out, like, a little bit onto it. Um, but then I did go a second time, and that one was much easier. I think the more you do things, the more comfortable you get with it because you kind of know what to expect. So the first time, it was a little freaky. But, I mean, I'm still afraid of heights. Like, I went up to Stratosphere in Vegas, and that was pretty freaky, too. There's no way I could, like, jump out of an airplane. I mean, I wouldn't say ever, but... Like, I just don't think that I would do it. Like, bungee jumping, no, no. Cause I'm afraid of heights so are you high maintenance no I don't I don't think I'm high maintenance I mean I shop at Target and Walmart you know what I mean I don't know how high maintenance you would consider that I don't go to the mall and like buy $300 handbags or $200 jeans or I don't consider myself to be high maintenance at all I think I'm a simple girl who appreciates the simple things in life I always have I always have told people that I'm very easy to please just got to make the effort if I could eliminate one weakness what would it be caring about what other people think 
that's my biggest problem is that I worry too much about everybody else and what they think and what they're going to think about me. Are they going to think I'm a bad person? Are they going to think I'm mean? You know, are they not going to like me? And I just wish I didn't because that makes me make decisions that I probably shouldn't make because I'm basing stuff on what somebody else is going to think and how they're going to feel and what they're going to look at instead of thinking about, well, how's this going to affect me? How's it going to make my life better? Or if I do it this way, how's it going to make my life worse? Those are things that I should more consider because I am a single parent and I need to do what's best for me and my son and I shouldn't really give a care about what anybody else thinks about my decisions. As long as it doesn't hurt me or my son, then, you know, I don't know. But I always have worried about what other people think about me. Mm. I wish I didn't. Introvert or extrovert? I think I'm an introvert, but once I get to know people, <coughs> I think I can be an extrovert. But I, I think I'm an introvert. I'm really nervous to, like talk to new people, people that I don't know or haven't met before. Once I get to know them, then I kind of open up. Are you a fan of any sports teams? Yes. The Seattle Seahawks. I'm a 12. I love my Hawks. There's actually a video that I posted a few, was it three videos ago of me and my son and my sister and my niece went to the Seahawks game. So, and that was a lot of fun. I love going to football games. It's a great experience. I highly recommend that you go, unless you don't like crowds, because there is a lot of people. But I like getting dressed up in my gear and going to the games. But I guess that's about it. I'm at work now, and I gotta head in. So I hope you guys all have a great day, or evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you're from, when you're watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support. I love you guys. Uh, leave me a comment and say hello. Let me know what you think about this video. And maybe do one yourself. Do a get to know me type video. I would love to see it and learn about you and hear about things that you like and where you work and where you're from. Um, and that's it. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. See you in my next video. Bye.